Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365. I'm Dan Herring and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday. Today we have an unusual bait to show you, one by a company called Depths. This is the Basariski Frog. So before we get started with the Basariski, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, and that's all I'll say. Thank you. All right, so the Basariski, this is a different type of bait made by Depths. It's a very soft-bodied frog. They're very, very soft, which is good because there's only a single hook on this bait. And the way this bait works is a little bit different. As you can see, the design is very different. This is the line tie here. And what happens is when you reel this in at the right pace, it goes back and forth, just like a crawler, just like a head and crazy crawler, except it's a soft plastic body, which means you can throw it in some good cover. And so they got two sizes, a 70 millimeter and a 60 millimeter. I prefer the smaller 60 millimeter size because this is a bait that you can miss strikes with because there's only one hook and the, the way the bait is designed, the fish's mouth has to get around that bait to get onto that hook. So the smaller 60 millimeter one lends itself better, I think, to more hook sets. And now, if, if you want to get the fish's attention, you might want to use that bigger bait. So there's a time and a place to getting to using a bigger bait. Bigger fish, get need to get it, need to get their attention, maybe the water's severely off color, that kind of thing. But day in and day out, I throw the smaller one because the, the bass can get a hold of it better. And the way this thing works, the, the, the crazy crawler type of um, wobble as it goes back and forth, almost looks like a bat landed, uh, fell into the water, or even a bird, like a baby bird. They would struggle that in that same way. So that's one of the, one of the unique things about the bait, is that it works very differently from any other frog that I'm aware of. Even, you know, there even used to be a soft plastic uh, frog that was like a jitterbug, it had a jitterbug lip, but that didn't even work the way these things work. These are much more like that crazy crawler style bait. And they have a weight on the bottom so that they that they sit the right way so that they can work when you go and work the bait. And we got a pond right behind you. So in a minute, we're going to throw this thing out in the pond and show you how it works. But the, the interesting thing is that it's a very unique bait. The fish haven't seen it. That's one of the pros. It's not something they see every day. So they're not likely to be conditioned to it like they would a, a regular frog. Now, there's one thing that you should know, and that is you can't fish this this thing at any old speed. If you go too slow, it doesn't get started up and doesn't really work. If you go too fast, it, it, uh, it goes out of kilter and, and goes out of balance and won't work right. So you have to have, when you first throw it out there, you, you kind of start it a little quick just to get it started. And then a steady retrieve uh, gets that thing wobbling back and forth. So it, it takes a, a specific retrieve to get the right action out of the bait. And you won't, it, it'll be easy to see if that's happening or not. You'll see that as soon as you're working the bait. Maybe I can show you that here as we're as we uh, connect it to the to the rod. So I do have a, a frog rod with me here, and we're going to hook it up right now. I got a mouse tied on here, but we're going to break take that off, put the basariski on, and try that. The rod I have here is a specific Fury Dobbins Fury rod, 50 pound braid. It's a rod that's meant specifically for frog fishing. I think it's seven foot three inches. And uh, this is a very nice reel. This is a Shimano Metanium. Uh, very, very nice reel. Lucky to get that. I inherited it from my dad. And, and uh, boy, is it's a smooth reel and you can cast these things a long way. So that's the reel that I've chosen with 50 pound test, spider wire braid. That's all you need to throw this frog. The hook that comes with it is very, very sharp. It's strong. I haven't had any issues with the strength of the hook. I haven't used this bait very often. I have thrown it and I can say that it has a unique action and I wouldn't throw this. This would not be my first choice of baits to throw, but I do have two of them for a reason. And that is because I do think there's a time and a place for it. If, if, these, if these fish get conditioned to frogs, if you're fishing a lake that has got a lot of frog fishing, this could be a bait that could be very good. Also, I would, I would tend to use this bait in lower light conditions, early morning, late evening, or even at night. You make that steady retrieve at night, you can cast it around cover and not worry about getting it hung up. Great bait for those kind of conditions. All right, let's take it to the water. All right, let's give this thing a toss or two out here, show you how it works. First, let's show you how it sits in the water. So it's got a really nice natural frog sitting in the water look, right? 
Uh, not a real bad angle there. And it's because of that tail, the way the tail floats. Looks very natural just sitting there. Get it out there and we'll show you how it works. So that's about the right speed right there. If you go too fast, it'll it'll kind of wipe out. But you can see that has a really nice, and you can stop and go with it. It's got a pretty nice uh, action. The bigger one is even more exaggerated than that. But this has got a real nice wiggle to it. And it has a sound. Probably can't hear it, but it sounds very similar to a jitterbug. Now, I would not throw this in super heavy cover, like it wouldn't be my first choice for throwing in lily pads because, well, it's not going to get a chance to do that kind of action. But I will throw it in sparse pads because I can just work it through the pads and then wherever there's an opening it'll swim like this. And that could be a very good way to catch a bass who's not used to seeing that kind of action. There you saw where I, I went too fast too soon and it didn't work. It, it, it just kind of glided. Now it's got that action again. So you got to get the right speed to make it go back and forth. Especially the smaller one is probably worse than the bigger one that way. But it would be a really good bait to fish over submerged vegetation like milfoil that hasn't reached the top yet, sparse grass like what we have here in the pond, uh, sparse lily pads or lily pads that have openings in them. All that kind of stuff would be perfect. Throw a few more here and then we'll get out actually has a pretty good frog-like imitation as well, the way it uh, the way it works back and forth. A frog skittering across the surface sometimes will look like that a little bit. Uh, you can reel it fairly fast and you can see it just makes even that much more of a commotion as you do. You can really make it skitter if you want. If you really go fast you can see it skitters and then you can go fast and stop. That could be another way to catch fish is to skitter, stop, skitter, stop. Well, you can see how this thing has that very unique action to it. The Bass are Risky, this week's Topwater Tuesday lure. Let me know if you have any experience with this lure. If you fished it, I would love to hear what your experiences are. If you think it's a good lure, a bad lure, if you caught fish on it, if you lost fish, whatever the case, comment and let me know. And we'll see you next time on Topwater Tuesday. And until then, may God bless your fishing endeavors.